You know, I wanted to make a kind of a recreational video with one of my favorite rifles, and that is the Ruger made Marlin 1895 guide gun in 4570. And there's something new about this gun that I really like. And right there is the 1895 Trapper. And there's something new about that gun that you may really like. I think it's pretty cool, but let's load up and do some shooting. George here and welcome to Tales from Target Suite where I'll share my perspective on guns and shooting and we'll have an adventure or two that will make even a grown man smile. And how can you not smile about the Marlin 1895s that have been recently released? I know we're all anticipating the 336, 3030 and other cartridges maybe, but right now this is what we've got and I know Ruger is working hard to get out some other offerings in the Marlin line. but. I do have something new on here, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute. But the first thing I want to do right now is give you a flyover of this gun and the ammo we're going to shoot today. And of course, we're going to shoot some hand loads, and they're topped with the 405 grain Missouri Bullet Company hard cast bullets. And uh, also, we're going to shoot the uh, relatively new offering from Hornady, and that is their subsonic ammunition. It's uh, 4570, of course, topped with a 410 grain sub X bullet. And that sub X bullet is designed to expand at a wide, very a wide uh, velocity range. And when I shot it a few months ago, it was expanding really well at subsonic speed. Speaking of which, I never chronographed it. And so let's chronograph both of these right now and take a look at what we're shooting today. And you can see the subsonic ammo from Hornady is traveling about 1150 feet per second on average. And the hand loads that I've got here about 1430. So a uh, fairly decent range of, of uh, velocity there. But it is a very versatile cartridge, and uh, the 4570 is. In fact, I'm going to put a link right here to a video that I posted a long time ago about how versatile the 4570 is. I know a lot of you guys think it's overkill. And yes, you can hunt dangerous game with it, um, but uh, you can also hunt deer and pigs uh, with, with uh, comfort because of the wide variety of different kinds of ammo that you can shoot out of the 4570. But we are waiting on the uh, next offering from Ruger, which we hope is going to be a Marlin 336 in 3030. So I can't wait for that one. But what's new about this that I like, it is the Ranger Point Precision Medium Loop Lever. And uh, yes, I know I posted a short form content video showing this lever uh, not too long ago. And a lot of you guys really like the big levers and I get that. Whatever floats your boat, you know, that's the way it is. But I like the small lever, and even with gloves on, I've got tons of room, tons of room. And uh, I could even put thicker gloves on. But if I lived up north and the temperatures were near zero, um, wind howling, I would probably want a big loop and uh, maybe some mittens. But I uh, like this, and I stopped by Ranger Point Precision and uh, talked to them about getting a, whether or not, first of all, would their medium loop lever work with the new Marlins, and, and uh, Adam told me they did. And uh, so I got one of those from them. Thank you guys. Adam and Kimberly, thank you very much. And, uh, and they took me on a tour of the factory, and it gave me a chance to see them manufacturing 
something that is not really up my alley, but I was impressed with. And that is this all aluminum, all aluminum M-lock adjustable butt stock. And uh, it is adjustable by just loosening four screws and then this thing will move up and down to fit any cheek height that you like. You can put, uh, it's got uh, holes to mount adjustable uh, new cheek piece. You can put all kinds of hardware in here for holding quivers to hold extra ammo. Who knows what, a canteen? I don't know, but anyway, it's a very versatile buttstock. And what impressed me when I saw how they were made is how robust this is. I mean, it is a solid chunk of well-engineered aluminum. Ranger Point Precision did a great job with this. So if this is if this floats your boat, check it out. Ranger Point Precision M-Lock adjustable buttstock, I believe is what it's called. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it on here. You know, I kind of like walnut and blued steel. But wait, this isn't walnut or blued steel. <laughs> anyway, Marlin Trapper, there it is, the, um, uh, the M-Lock adjustable buttstock. Okay, let's, um, what else can we do? Let's uh, shoot some more, and I've got a pumpkin down there. I'm saving one round, and it is a uh, really nice, fairly warm 4570 round, topped with a 325 grain Lehigh Defense Extreme Defense Bullet. And we're going to see if we can't shoot that pumpkin right in the stem and make a mess. It may even put out a fire down there that I lit this morning or this afternoon. All right, well, let's shoot some more and um, just have some more fun. You know, there's just something about the 4570, a nice manly punch, but with rounds like these, hand loads, not painful at all. You know, I think this is the third take on this part, just because I'm having fun, and uh, this makes for a good hand warmer on a cold day. I should have my glove on, but uh, you know what? Let's just shoot those bowling pins a half-filled jug of water, and um, then we'll turn our attention to that pumpkin here in just a minute. Oh, yes. All right, what do you say? Let's do that pumpkin. And I've got the Extreme Defense Bullet, 325 grain Lehigh Defense, Extreme Defense Bullet. Let's bust that pumpkin. Oh, wow. It went 50 feet over here. Anyway, thanks for, thanks for stopping by for a recreational video. Loving the Ruger made Marlin 1895 guide gun with the new Ranger Point Precision medium loop lever. Perfect for me, maybe not for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Well, thanks for sticking around. I know I had said see you in the next video up there, but uh, I wanted to come down here and sit by the fire and have a quiet moment, and uh, thought I'd bring you along with me and just say thank you so much for 
uh, for all of the support that you've shown through watching my videos, you patrons for uh, your financial support. A lot of you have sent me ammo and, um, and I'm so thankful. It uh, it's amaz still amazes me that three and a half years later, I know I've had a couple of hiccups, one this year with my sister when she passed and then Janet had had um, um, had pneumonia and I think there was another time in there where I got either distracted or writer's block or something, but um, but you're still with me and I'm thankful. I really appreciate it. I look forward to, uh, and this is the last video for 2022, and I look forward to what next year has to offer and we'll see. I trust the Lord for um, anything that happens, good or bad, um, praise God. and. Um, I'm thankful for y'all. Again, I can't say that enough. And really, I really will see you in the next video, Lord willing. And right now, I'm going to turn the camera off and just enjoy this fire.